we know that in MailChimp we can create different types of marketing campaigns. One of those marketing activities we can create is a postcard. Yes, that is a postcard that comes through the mail and through the letterbox, a physical postcard. So let's dive into MailChimp and look at how we create a postcard. I'll just go to lists very quickly because there are some fields that are necessary in order to be able to send postcards to people. The first one is we have to have the first name of people, the last name is another field, and address. So first name, last name, address we have to have in our list to be able to send a postcard to people. Please keep in mind too that in certain countries, um, and in particular in the, in the EU, um, you might well need to have express permission from people even to send them a postcard. I'm going to click on campaigns to create my postcard itself. So it's really quick and simple. I click create campaign, click postcard. There are three types of postcard campaigns I can create. One is create a postcard that's sending to everyone I want to at the same time. The other one is recurring. So I can set once a month, once every three months or once every six months to send to a list or a segment of a list. Abandoned cart I cover in a later email, and that is if someone puts items into their cart on a connected e-commerce store, Magento, uh, Shopify, Lemonstand, etc., MailChimp can automatically send uh, an email, uh, sorry, a postcard to those people that have abandoned their cart. But let's create a postcard, really quick and simple. I can call the campaign anything I want to. It's for my own housekeeping purposes. So I'll just use postcard February 2019 as an example and click begin. As with all the campaign activities in MailChimp, we start at the top and we work down. So who do we want to send to? I click add recipients. I can either choose a list or a segment of a list, or I can get MailChimp to help me find new contacts um, via clicking new audience. For now, I will select my list. It's a small list, but You'll get the idea. I could choose a segment at this time, but I'll send to my whole list. I set a budget and under view postcard pricing, we can see that there are two elements that make up the cost. One is the printing price, the postcard price, and the other is the postage price. And as you can see, the more we send, the cheaper per unit it gets. So we click save. MailChimp is going to my list at the moment and it's looking for those contacts that I have uh, where I have the first name, last name and address and look it's found three so my list is very small, yours will be bigger so that's fine. To create the postcard itself, now if you think of a postcard um, it has a front which is usually an image and the back which is text and that's exactly what we create. So we need to create the front and the back. So we click add content MailChimp says to us, load an image that is 1875 by 1350 pixels. Click Browse. We're in the Content Manager, which I covered in a separate lesson. And I'm going to click on the image I want to include at the front of my, uh, front of my postcard and click Insert. I can view the front of my uh, postcard by, by clicking the front here. Or I could click back. So on the back, we want to obviously add some text and the address will be on the back too, which MailChimp will fill for us. So I'll just add some body text I previously copied. I'll add a heading. So we've added the heading, we've added our text. We can add a logo, which I'll do very quickly. Again, just an image, that's all it is. I'll go into this in a, in a future uh, lesson, an e-commerce lesson, but if you do have a connected e-commerce store, you could include promo codes. So just scrolling up slightly, again, we can view the front and the back, but also clicking on the front, I could view larger and I could just make sure that it will display correctly. I could look at the back and click on it to view it larger, just make sure that my spelling is correct and so on. So it's all looking good. Sorry, um, we need to now click save. 
and we quite simply then send a postcard nice and easy. Let's look at those recurring uh, postcards very quickly. So it's very similar, also very, very simple. So I'm going to click Create Campaign. Again, postcard, I'm speeding it up a little bit. Recurring, we could call it anything we want, and I'll just call it Recurring for now. Click Begin. How often do we want MailChimp to send the postcards? I could click the Edit and choose either every month, every three months, or every six months. So I'll send, say send every month. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm asking MailChimp to um, send a postcard every month to people uh, that signed up to my list within the last 30 days. So who do I want MailChimp to send it monthly to? So add recipients, choose a list. And in this case, I created a segment earlier in my list that said, um, the segment needs to show me all people that subscribe to my list within the last 30 days. Uh, so I'm just going to find that segment. There we go. How much do I want to spend? Uh, I can click Save. And MailChimp is going off and analyzing my list again. And again, adding content. I won't go through it again, but adding content. Simple. We add an image on the front. We add some text on the back. Nice and simple. So what will happen now is every month MailChimp will send. Sorry, once I start it, uh, once I click Start Sending, save all information, click Start Sending. Once a month MailChimp will send uh, the postcard to everyone that subscribed in the last 30 days because I set it as the segment being subscribed in the last 30 days. And that's postcards. Nice and simple.